what you saw now is all the Armenians climbing up to the Calvary Golgotha. It's a special day for all the Orthodox churches. And uh, let me show you what's happening outside. <coughs> Well, look at that. It's too, too young. Um, and it's a special day because it's already Sunday, 16 of, I oh, forgot, April, April 16. And it means that something special happening here because the church is usually closed at that time. And I'm lighting candles for people who ask me to do that. Now we'll talk about it soon, but we are celebrating today, together with the Orthodox Church, or the Orthodox Churches, uh, a special day. This is Easter Sunday of the Orthodox. The Catholic uh, and the Protestant Easter Sunday was a week ago. It's because of the different calendars. And um, I'm here, uh, I didn't sleep for I think more than 24 hours, I, um, but the energy is so strong that I came straight to the, not straight now, a few hours later, to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, or according to the uh, Orthodox churches, it's the Church of the Resurrection, because the story is about the resurrection, and um, I'm lighting candles for people who ask me to do that. How should you do that as well? There are two options. The first one is, um, oh, oh, forgot, forgot uh, before I forget. And immediately after the introduction, I will make a tour around the church Then stay with me. Uh, if you want me to light a candle for you, the only options, are, or the only option is, or are actually, um, to do that via buy me a coffee link or um, uh, PayPal. Uh, you can see the inscription. Uh, you, can, you can see the links at the inscription. Uh, that's the only way. Then don't send me any other uh, uh, messages because I'm going to lose it. I, I'm, I'm crying when I'm getting it. Then in that case, um, it's a special day. And I must say that I'm, it's so hot outside. I came with a coat without any reason. Um, and you can see some people with candles, and you see it a lot. It's part of the Holy Saturday. It happened um, a few hours ago. I wasn't there because it was uh, too crowded for me. But let me show you the Armenian. They are now climbing up to the second, um, the second story, which is the second Golgotha of them. But here. Soon you will hear them chanting, and they have an amazing voice. Here now at the church, you can you can hear um, the Greek Orthodox, um, the Syrianic Church, Church of Syria, and the uh, Ethiopians, uh, and the Copts. It's amazing. I will mention after we light the candles after the tour. I will mention all the names of people who ask me to do that, but I will mention a lot of names of people who actually help me to continue making that videos by uh, donating uh, some money. But let's go a little bit to the chapel of, um, the, of the Orthodox. It's a beautiful chapel and it's crowded with so many disciples. Let me see if I will be able to do that. The 
ceremony of Sunday, in a way, night. And why I'm saying night? Because according to the Jews, uh, a night begins at sunset. And this is already sun uh, Sunday, although according to the rest, it's Sunday as well. And uh, ceremonies are on. You saw the Armenians. Now they're climbing up to the second Golgotha, which is there. And at 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m., when the uh, Greek Orthodox will finish their ceremony, the Armenian will reach the tomb of Jesus. You will see it right now. This is the tomb of Jesus, and you see the Greek Orthodox ceremony. It is still on. started at 1 a.m. A lot of the people are so tired, and in front of you, you can see the Copts, the North Africa uh, Christians. Around 4 a.m., everyone, all the Orthodox churches except of the Greek, uh, will join to one amazing ceremony. And yes, I will stay for a little bit for you. This is the closest place to the tomb of Jesus. Today I won't be able to enter, but the energy is so strong and it's been blessed by everyone. From the Armenian chapel you can see the crucifixion place. We will reach it soon, but before that I will stop right there. This is where they purified Jesus' body and let me bless the candles there. The smell of the anointing oil is so strong. Then we actually started from the end. Here you can see that. Two Jesus, and we just came from it. If you go backward, the purified the body of Jesus. Uh, just before they bury him. And this is according to the Jewish tradition. And going backward, they crucified him. Then Let's climb up the Golgotha, to the Calvary. It is crowded today. And people are very tired, as you can see. They've been here all day. For them, it's something so special, especially after USSR lost uh, for the Christ for Christianity. Then, for them, the it's the, the dream come true.
crucifixion place is divided into few places. First one is the Catholic chapel. And here you can see where they strip Jesus from his clothes. And that's where they made Jesus. Now you can see something special. The Orthodox are not stopping here. Because for them, it's a different language. This is a Catholic place. Now it's very easy for me to bless it at the place that they nailed Jesus into the cross. And here is the Pietà, another Catholic. something just a moment just just we just put it there They're walking on their knees. Uh, you can see the bedrock. We remember when you saw it, it's covered with the glass. Uh, to vote people like me to take some seven years. And let me now light the candles at the Greek Orthodox Chapel, just next to the crucifixion place. And then I will sit somewhere and read the names uh, of the people who asked me to do that and the people who helped me a lot. I'm not going to read in front of everyone the request that you ask me unless you would ask me to do that because it's between you and God. I'm just a believer, a messenger with more than that. All the candles are made from the holy fire from today. another option if you want me to light a candle only for you uh, go into buy me coffee and there's one option uh, that actually you can do that um, it's not a problem if you won't find it uh, send me a message and I will do that next video will be about a private light then happy Easter few hours he will resurrect. Can you understand the importance of it? It was mentioned at the Gospels, though the Gospel never told us how it's actually happened. Um, but it actually um, been told by St. Paul at the Corinthians. First of the Corinthians. I remember he said that, as St. Paul said, that uh, he took her sins and then been buried 
and he resurrected and first we saw where he actually he appeared to Kaifa, um, some leader and then to 500 people or more than 500 people and then to the 12th and James was mentioned as well then we are living they're crowded I'll go outside and uh, find a place to read the names then we know that you did it then we can stay if not you can stay too but um, you, it's not a necessary thing for you but you can join to the next uh, candle lighting such a beautiful day <laughs> night morning whatever you call it I know where I'm gonna sit, not here, because it's, yeah, maybe here. Because let me show you the facade of the church from the end of the 11th century, the beginning of the 12th century, Crusade time. I will be able to read it. It's a little bit dark. Uh, for some of you, you waited uh, a little bit more than the average, but that's because of Easter. I had so many things to do. I'm so sorry. Uh, some of you are already lit candles, but I did it today again because I'm reading the names. Um, let's see, Alexander. Um, Thank you for the compliments, and yes, it's uh, for you. Um, let me see. Lorita Cox, thank you very much for that, for the compliments as well. Um, Noah Gallic Chung and uh, Jose Jose Hansen. I hope that I didn't destroy your names because I did. <laughs> I'm doing it from time to time. I'm so sorry, but I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. Seren and uh, Tamara. Ugo. Leslie, oh Leslie, and Gail, um, Agnia Freeman, uh, Leticla Rubio, Maria Gonzalez, um, De Barish, uh, Boss, Frida. Um, Vani, Bruce, Protron, Protron, Tony, Gil, A, Beckley, Bigley, Marvin English, uh, Angela T, Reza, of course, Reza, my dear Reza, uh, Beaver, and um, yes, I did, uh, of course, I did, kind of, uh, Merlin Raju, um, Thomas, Merlin, Joshua, and Kezia, and um, Finch, Kainte, Jinte, and let me read more names of people who help me and thank you for doing it. Dan and Debbie, uh, Marquez, uh, Kong uh, Galik Chang, I already mentioned it, but yes, of course I could like to uh, make a candle for you. Israel Gibbs, 
Alicia? is from Indonesia. Poles. James. Pascal, Pascal, and someone um, to leave it money and um, and I already lit a candle for him or her, but he didn't mention his or her name. I know that he has suffered from COVID, recovering from COVID, and I prayed uh, for you um, for health issues. Um, oh, and asthma. Oh, we are sharing the same thing with chronic. Then, um, he just mm, sounds familiar to me as well. Um, uh, I already did it for you, but I don't know your name. Then, if you will write me your name, I would be very happy. I will do the ticket for you. John McFall, Eco, John Charlie, Doctor um, Young, Volkai, Volkaya. Um, Kamala, Kamala, something like that. Thank you for everything that, uh, for everything that you did for me. I'm so happy. Um, the heat, Tosu, and Planet. Dasi. Let me see if I do it more. Yes, it is more. Meta platform Mark Dan Johnson Michael Dan Tassi Latakia Bruce Potronton Gil Oh, I actually mentioned you already. Um, mention, mention, mention. Judy, uh, right, Rigold, um, I know that I'm destroying the name, so sorry, uh, Pascal, uh, I don't mention the name, Andres, Pierker, John, McFall, Garo, Charles, um, Boyd John, oh, it looks like Armenia, and the Armenian now chanting, um, and yeah, I imagine it. And thank you very much for being with me in those almost 25 minutes. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please.